Below lies a city within a city, Sydney's Royal Easter Show, claimed by the Royal Agricultural Society to be the greatest show on earth. In the ten days of its presentation, over one and a quarter million people see the exhibits which are drawn from every part of the Commonwealth. This exhibition reflects the real wealth of Australia, displayed in a pageant as colourful as autumn and as slick as new paint. Seeing the show is essentially a family affair, because there are sights to delight every age and viewpoint. 27 miles of flag-decked streets wind through the 72-acre lot. On display, side by side, products of farm and factory prove the meaning and value of a balanced economy. Machinery Avenue is where new farm implements and huge tractors prove that Australia is not lagging in this mechanical age. The man on the land really enjoys window shopping in this section. This is the day that breeders have been waiting for, to compete for blue ribbons. Pride of place among the livestock goes to the cattle. Judging is in progress. Among the rapidly improving strains are pole shorthorns and devons. Keen eyes watch as the popular Herefords come on. Bred from the best imported strains, Australian cattle are now world famous in quality. The country's beef is helping to feed impoverished Europe. The Aberdeen Angus is another beefy boy who improves each year. The judges have to examine 1,700 exhibits in the cattle section alone. One bull exchanged hands at 2,350 guineas, whilst the owner of another champion refused an offer of 5,000. Bully boy seems conscious of his own breeding and worth. It is also Dobbins Day. 1,500 entries of every kind, shape and style are a reminder of the usefulness of the horse and the affection Australians hold for man's faithful servant. Horses have played a major role in the development of the country. The poultry section is also important. From good strains, the nation is able to produce annually about 117 million dozen eggs, worth almost 10 million pounds something he can grow about with justification. Dog lovers get their chance too. From this lineup, the champion of champions is being selected by visiting Swiss judge Baron van Hoop, a world authority on canines who awards the blue ribbon to that Irish setter. The judge commends owners on the high standard of dogs shown in all classes. Over in another section, Junior farmers are being judged on their judging of dairy cattle. The junior farmers movement was started by the Departments of Agriculture and Education and gives sons of farmers a scientific training in their calling. The lads are brought in at 16 years of age. Competitions and camps encourage them in their study. Not that they lack enthusiasm. Outstandingly important are the district exhibits which feature the agricultural products of various centres. The public sees splendid examples of fruit, vegetables, honey, preserves, bacon, butter, cheese and a host of other foods. Apart from maintaining a high standard for home consumption, most of these commodities are in keen demand overseas, giving Australia a chance to help the have-nots. Wheat, the nation's third primary product, accounts for great agricultural wealth, while over 100,000 tonnes of refrigerated meat were sent overseas last year. World shortage of cotton has focused attention on its development. More is to be grown in the subtropical sunshine of Australia. Sheep, the nation's basic industry, have a show of their own later in the year. But the wool boards exhibit proves what manufacturers can do with our fleeces. Yes, wool is right, day or night. To illustrate that, the board stage is a continuous display in which Malacan appear in attractive clothes. The garments are made from fine merino wool. Australia's wool check this year was over 90 million pounds.
An entire pavilion is set aside for the British Empire exhibition. From the United Kingdom comes this Rolls-Royce jet engine. Britain's wartime leadership in this field is maintained in peace. These engines are shortly to be produced in numbers in Australia. Another pavilion is devoted to a homes and gardens exhibition. With the universal shortage of housing, this section attracts tremendous interest. Quarter-scale models of prize-winning designs make a hall of dreams for starry-eyed young couples. Cheerful exteriors and plenty of windows for cheerful interiors are features of these designs. Of course, no show is complete without its sideshows. This section, which recalls the old English fair, attracts showmen from all over the world. Sideshows have given laughter and amusement to generations. So step right up. It's super colossal. No waiting, no delay. We're going right away. Step right up. Recognized as the world championship in wood chopping and sawing, this section brings together top-notch bushmen. In progress here is the world championship two-handed sawing event. Watch them rip through that 30-inch black butt log in 19 seconds flat. Wizard Kirk brothers retain their crown. In the wood chopping events, axemen leave nothing to chance. They can shave with their blade. In the standing underarm chop, they reveal their consummate skill as they make the big chips fly. It takes the winner just 45 seconds to sever that 14 inch log. Variety is the spice of life, here is spice. Country and city cousins have a fling at buck jumping. Every assistance is given the rider until he hits the arena, and how he hits the arena. This city girl gives them all a lesson in how to stay put. Cattleman's idea of fun is a wild bullock race. On each day, the main ring is occupied with an interesting program of events. Here, an equestrian parade is a delight to horse lovers. While side saddle is a thing of the past, women retain their smart and practical riding dress. The girls join the men in jumping in fours. Another ring event to thrill the onlookers is the water jump, but it isn't always easy to convince the horse to jump over the water. The high jump, 15-year-old Mark Radium clears the bar at seven feet. The climax of the show is the grand parade of prize livestock, a living picture reflecting the nation's wealth measured in terms of breeding and money. The man on the land shows his achievements with a range of farm animals of blue blood quality. It is interesting to note that despite the motor car, the number and quality of horses exhibited this year constitutes an all-time record. Here is a report on the nation, a proud day for Australia, surely of its kind the greatest show on earth. <laughs>